Howdy doody, I'm the Helm115, welcome to Anthrox Shop, and today we are playing some more Transformers Earth Wars. Uh, I did not upload, I mean, click that, yesterday, because I was staying at my friend <clears throat> Jacoby Jones' house. Uh, I didn't get home till about 5 o'clock yesterday, uh, which was a full hour and a half, two hours after I usually upload... Uh, and had some stuff to do here at the house. So, to make that up, depending how this recording session goes, I may end up doing a second Transformers Earth Wars recording session after this one, playing some battles and arranging my teams. Because I did say I wanted to do that on a recording at some point. <clears throat> that out of the way... Are you going to temp pop these small loot crates? The game's probably lagging right now. I have to update stuff on my Xbox. Game's going light on the premium charts today, huh? <laughs> Alright. Single pop, please. <clears throat> Those premium shards are really the only thing I care about out of these. Spark's cool, and boosts are cool if I'm doing a lot of battles. But you can only use one boost per battle. Hmm. And a lot of them aren't that greatest. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Three thousand premium shards. We can just get a couple more lows. That puts in a really good position for this week's premium crystal opening portion <clears throat> of this recording. As always, this week is Decepticon week. Uh, next week was, last week was Autobots, next week will be Autobots. This week, all of our premium crystals are going to be of the Decepticon variety. So even though I can't get combiners <clears throat> from them, I can still get some pretty cool additions to my collection. That being said, let's open an Autobot chip. Or rather, open all of the Autobot chips. Then we'll open all the Autobot free crystals, all the Decepticon chips, all the Decepticon free crystals, and move on to premium crystals. <clears throat> if I sound a little under the weather, uh, I was outside a lot while at Jacoby's. Uh, Jacoby's bedroom is not the greatest when it comes to ventilation. His window does not have a screen in it, <laughs> so we can have the window open the whole time. So, a uh, little under the weather. No, I'll be fine. I will live. Uh, mm, part of this is probably just, again, my normal throat issues. But yeah. Just wanted to give you all a heads up. If I sound a little off, I'm clearing my throat more than I normally do. Or more than I have since I got this new headset. That's why. Uh, mm, 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 I'm trying not to move my mic as far from my mouth when I'm doing my coughs. That way I don't forget to bring it back close to my mouth, because I had camera if it was on this channel, if it was on the main channel, I had a recording session where I basically moved my mic arm completely straight, like, away from my mouth. Ooh, a three-star hound. <gasps> Ooh! <clears throat> One away from completing Skyrain. But I had it basically like straight. I did a full, like, 30 inches from my mouth or something like that. And I forgot about it. 
Cause I'd either, I'd either cleared my throat. <coughs> like I just did there, Jesus. I either cleared my throat. Or I had to sneeze. And so I moved my mic away from my mouth. And forgot how far away I put it. And forgot to move it back to my mouth. For the rest of the recording session. Like I said, I can't remember if it was on this channel or the main channel. But I do know at some point I have done that. So I'm trying to avoid doing that while also... <clears throat> trying to avoid... Clearing my throat and coughing directly in any headphone user's ears. So... So I think the number one downside of like being... Not sick, but having allergies is I do clear my throat a lot and I do cough a lot. And with the mic, the mic picks all that up. <laughs> so, but at the same time, you guys are going to hear uncut, unedited raw footage of just me talking to you guys, hanging out, opening crystals, uh, kind of commenting on interesting things, but kind of just talking to you guys while this goes. Yeah, so you're getting a much raw, cleaner version of crystal openings than you would from a lot of other people's channels, so. I don't know if that's an upside or a downside. I'll let you guys be the uh, judges of that. I keep saying guys, and I, w I want everybody to know I don't mean that <clears throat> as in gender. I kind of, from the region I live in, guys is kind of used similar to dudes. So when I say guys, don't think I'm talking directly to men or people who identify as male. I'm simply saying guys in general. I tr I've gone away from saying it in my intros, my outros, to kind of ensure that no one takes it that way. But, uh, I still say it a lot in videos. And yeah, so I just, I just wanted to say, I don't mean it in any negative way. <clears throat> I, I, like I said, I kind of use it the exact same as you would use dude. Or bros, or stuff like that. Eventually, I want to try teaching myself, retraining my mind to say uh, viewers. And stuff like that, instead of guys. But it, it's just, it's, it's so easy to say you guys watching at home, or what you guys think of this. Instead of, hey, what do you as the viewer think of this? I feel like you as the viewer fits my analysis channel a little better. This channel is me kind of mindlessly rambling. And then freaking out about cool stuff that I get. Which I think is fun. I like it. Mm. Ooh, a three-star run amok dupe. Two star dirge. Is that my final cone head? Do I have Ramjet and uh Oh god, who was the other one? It was Dirge, Ramjet, and Thrust. I generally can't remember. <laughs> oh, Three. Three stars, Finister. Nice. Three star. Wild Rider. Breakneck. Okay, cool. Again, if this was a Decepticon account, that would be a piece of a uh, Menasaur. Stunticon combiner. 
And there is a three star ramjet. If I don't have ramjet at two star, I now have a three. Duplicate knockout. Transformers Prime variant to knockout. I don't know if he's in other media. He may have been a character made for Transformers Prime. I don't recall. I don't break down. I existed before. Prime. Oh, a Tarn dupe, hell yeah. And there's a two-star ramjet dupe, so I do have ramjet. I don't know if I have thrust though. Skip, skip. <laughs> Alright, well, as always, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.